Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. If it's your first time here, my name is Shinobi and I take photographs in video games. I use both built-in in-game photo modes or on PC camera tools that you may refer at uh, photo modes mods if you prefer. I've also worked on a few photo modes myself for indie or AAA games and it couldn't be more on point with today's topic. But before we get started, please consider subscribing to this channel anytime during your watch time if you enjoy what you see. Okay, so recently we've seen more and more uh, photomos joining our party and with them some new features, some failures, some successes and a lot of different directions. But we could be on the verge of a new era here an era of a new type of photo modes. Now, is this a good or a bad thing? That's what I want to discuss with you today. So let's go and let's try to figure out what will be the photo mode of the future. I've been asked more than once, where do you see virtual photography in five years or the community or things like this? But never what is the future of photo modes or what is the photo mode of the future and as much as i'd like to answer a combination of spider-man model shells death loops and days gone's photo modes it seems like there is a different path opening up but let me back up a sec and tell you what opened my eyes to that a few months back came out Lords of the Fallen and I discovered a brilliant photo mode with a couple of uh, technical flaws, of course, but great features, especially the 3D photo mode one. And, you know, I let you check the video I did back then if you want to know more about that. Then a couple of weeks later, I'm playing uh, Deliver Us Mars from a totally different studio and publisher and I noticed the exact same template. Some differences are here and there, but the, the backbone is actually exactly the same. The filters are the same, the filters order is the same, the tabs order is the same, and so on. Sounded weird to me, so I reached out to Lords of the Fallen art director and asked him uh, about that. He told me that they let an external contractor deal with the PM and he gave me a name which I checked and I tried to find some connections but I couldn't find any real connections between all the studios. Then I noticed that Atomic Hearts had also a very very similar template and you know all the features and stuff and I finally realized that there was simply a photo mode template available on the market for developers to use. Let me show you. So if you go on the Unreal Engine market and look for photo mode, you'll find three possible modules, uh, I guess, ready to use for developers. Now it costs between 15 and 20 dollars and is a good base ready to use, I guess, further customizable if you want. So I haven't searched for other engines like Unity, but it seems obvious to me that the recent boom of photo modes and virtual photography motivated the creation of such features for game makers. So if it doesn't exist yet, it will very soon, most likely. So the first observation from that is how the hell can games still came out without PMs? Even custom engine ones have probably pretty easy ways to make a simple uh, photo mode. For Unreal Engine games at least, you won't convince me now that it's a problem of money or time. I remember not so long ago time when I was giving lists of actual great photo modes to studios so they can take inspiration of the best ones <coughs> instead of just making a copy of a big studio shitty ones. Uh, by the way, if you look at the, those modules, you, you might see some inspiration of not so great photo modes uh, UI, uh, at least. Anyways, I now fear that this work of education and uh, research will become even useless, since a lot of developers will go straight to the ready-to-use solution without losing much more time and energy trying to understand photo mode. 
And this is where I get mixed feelings about this. See, in one hand, I have to say that the quality of this photo mode feature that I've seen recently, and once again in Necrophosis demo, that I might do a video about this uh, later, the quality is even better than a lot of big studios' recent photo modes. So there is a RGB uh, control, full tilt, uh, decent DOF options, basic needed filters, and so on. There are still details that would need to be set up differently. Uh, for instance, the, the logo feature uh, is somehow limited to a very small maximum size so, and you know fixed uh, placement spots, so it's pretty much useless. Same as the autofocus one, that is, like the autofocus point is not movable, so it has to be the center of your composition only. So again, pretty useless. And I'm pretty sure that's something that each dev, dev and studio can set and custom differently. So, so I guess it will get better uh, with the years. So on the plus side, Obviously, uh, a lot of indie games, solo dev projects, will now have a very functional photo mode. And that's, that's great news, of course, that's great news. Well, if they are able to put it in the console build, because, uh, let's face it, PC, at least for Universal Engine games, as good as the photo mode can be, it will never really compete with the, the camera tools we have for Universal Engine games. So. The point is really for console players, I guess, but again, I've seen how builds are brought up differently on different platforms, so yeah. If they put this new template photo mode thing up in every indie game on console, that's great. But on the other hand, I can't stop myself from thinking of a darker aspect. Now that devs of any size studios, right, have access to basic, decent photo mode, will they really put the effort to push boundaries again? Um, find an element specific to their game, just like Lord of the Fallen did with the, the two world switch within the 3D photo mode feature. Will they try to elevate the level of the three-point light system by making it a 15-point light system, add it more and more into cutscenes, therefore building the whole game with a photo mode? Or will they just slap the ready-to-use photo mode module on a later patch just to grab a couple more weeks of online presence? Mm, you know. I'm sure the truth lies somewhere between those lines, right? It will be a variety of behaviors and overall photo mode's quality should get better and better, at least I hope, because I'm an optimistic person. But, just but, it will require our vigilancy and that we keep explain and educate the game makers so they use the full potential of uh, this essential feature. <laughs> Our YouTube reviews of photo modes might get a bit boring if the future holds only a copy paste of the same photo mode over and over again. So please encourage the creation of different content on YouTube such as this video if you liked it or if you enjoyed it. Uh, drop a like, share it on your socials, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot. Also, don't leave without telling me what's your opinion on the matter. Um, are you more excited? Are you more anxious? Or like me, is it a bit of both? Um, the comment section below is here for you so uh, we can speak together. So please use it. As for myself, I'll see you in the next video and in the meantime, keep snapping.